feel uh, based on Saturday night, preseason practice, Europe, the whole shebang going into the open? Uh, I feel very confident in our team, um, knowing that we had some experience playing uh, in the recent exhibitions and in Italy. So I feel um, we're still learning, but at the same time, we're getting better every day, and um, we should be ready for Friday. Can you compare how you feel going into the opener this year compared to how you felt going into the opener last year, just in terms of comfort level? Um, last year, I was very nervous. Um, I didn't know what to expect, but now I do. I know what to expect in the game and um, what coach expects of me um, during the game. So it's, I'm very, I'm very much more confident. Did the coming off the bench part disturb you? Um, not at all. Um, I just do what I'm asked. Um, whatever he wants me to do, whether it's starting or come off the bench, six man, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just willing to do whatever he wants me to do. Does it help to be able to maybe not start, just kind of survey what's going on before you jump in there? Um, it always is uh, good to like watch on the side and see what, what's going on and what I could do better um, in the game to help my team win. Um, just seeing watching on the side in the early um, parts of the game really helps me uh, see what I have to do in order to be successful out there. So, Maybe specifically, I guess, what are, what are you looking for when um, you're sitting there watching? Just like how the defense is playing, is playing us, um, what kind of defense they're in, um, what things will work um, amongst the defense, how they're playing us, and who's uh, their main focus while they're playing D. So it's good to see all that. Hey, Greg, can you sort of give us a big picture perspective on how maybe Europe helped? Um, you've been on teams that didn't go on international trips, and now you've been on one that does. Uh, are you ahead of where you were maybe in previous years based on those 10 practices in those two weeks? Yeah, well, the uh, first 10 practices in the summer were huge for us. Um, we had to be here anyway, taking classes and just getting out on the court in the summer, um, practicing with all the guys and, you know, Going to the, the same drills that we do now definitely gave us a head start um, uh, against other teams, um, a big advantage. Um, yeah, it's, it's helped us a lot. I, mean, I think we're ready to go. Is it fair and accurate to say you were primarily a perimeter player last year and it looks as though you'll be primarily an interior player this year? Yes. Uh, I like to think of myself as uh, pretty versatile. So um, I, I played some, some inside uh, positions last year, but this year I, I could see myself playing more of a uh, forward role. How did you prepare for this physically? Uh, coach DeMeo, uh, our strength and conditioning coach, has always put us through rigorous uh, strength and conditioning uh, programs throughout the summer, so we're ready to go. Personally, though, did you feel as though you needed to get a little bigger and or stronger, maybe more so than you would normally? Yeah, I mean, going up against power forwards and centers in the A-10, those are pretty big guys, so... I, uh, I made sure I, I took care of what I needed to do in the summer to get stronger. Can each of you talk about getting up the floor more this year and kind of a, a, an increased tempo and how you've had to adjust or maybe change the team game collectively to suit that? Um, I think it will be um, a lot better for us um, just with the guys we have, especially like Cedric, um, how he's like so good in the open floor that it helps me and Darian, uh, the shooters, like get open shots and then um, – Running up the floor, like we're, we're a real quick team and uh, we're very small, so we need to have that speed advantage against most teams. So it would be great for us. It would be to our advantage. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I just think that, you know, uh, us being small helps us in that category to just being able, able to run the entire game. Um, even our guards are small. Like he said, Cedric is unbelievable in the open court. Um, I'm undersized in my position, so I'll be able to outrun most of the guys that are guarding me. And even Derek can move very well at his height and weight. So we're looking forward to do that. That being said, will the half court game be as efficient as, as years past with all the cutting and passing? And I think so. I mean, um, you know, it depends on, on, on the game, the tempo of the game and stuff, and the situation and how much time's left and all that stuff. But you'll see similar stuff in past years. I imagine the first game of the year, you guys are probably more worried about what you do and what you need to do than maybe your opponents. How many games through the season does it take before the balance of your practice is more focused on what your opponents do rather than what you guys do? To, how many games into the season does it take for that to happen? Uh, well, you know, the, the first couple of practices here in um, October and November have just been, you know, just going against the guys on the team. So that's just, you know, learning, learning our offense, learning the defense, um, all the princi different principles. And uh, we start looking at other teams, you know, as the games get closer. But um, 
right now we're just we're focusing on Liberty, and uh, that's it, really. Kendall, how different do you feel being a sophomore as opposed to a wide-eyed freshman your first year, or maybe you don't feel any different at all from coming in? How different is it to have a year under your belt? Um, I feel great, actually. Uh, it's a big confidence booster knowing that I've had a year under my belt, and I know what to expect from uh, from teams. Um, how they play, what what kind of like offense they run, what kind of defense they run. So, as a freshman, I really didn't I really didn't know anything because I was a newcomer and I didn't I haven't been played basketball, college basketball. Um, but now I know what to expect and um, what we need to do to win. Do you think you'll see different things from other teams because they know what to expect from you now? Yes, I I, I plan on seeing like different defenses and and different things. Um, being closer to me on the three-point line and different things like that. So I know what to expect. I just have to play through it and um, uh, work through it and figure it out. Does this team have a vocal on the court leader? Uh, yes, we do. Um, sometimes it's, it's not as vocal as we want it to be, but at the same time, we're, we're learning still. We're still a young team, so we can uh, leadership roles from uh, different people, especially from Greg and Darian as seniors. So um, that's a good thing. What have you seen from the freshmen? Um, and can you see a difference in the three that were here last year as opposed to the two you know, scholarship freshmen that are, that are new this year? Either one. Uh, Dion and Terry look, look very good. I mean, they're definitely going to help us this year, and they're going to be great players down the road. Um, you know, they're, they're, right now they're pretty similar to Trey, Alonzo, Luke. Um, you know, they, they're still coming along to learn the offense. Um, on defense, it's just so so much stuff that has to be taught to them. But they're going to be good players for us. Anything else? All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you,